Antenenta in Nigeria is unbeatably amazing. Oh yes, I said that. <laughs> I mean, one of the exciting things that I'm definitely going to miss is eating mama put. My darlings, I always look forward to my antenna days because of what mama put food. <laughs> <sighs> so finally, 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 we are coming close to meeting our bundle of joy. <laughs> We are coming close to the end of this journey, yeah. And Mama is preparing to leave Nigeria. I mean, I've been doing a lot of preparations, you know, towards this journey. And hobby gave me the news of my life, although not not today, not yesterday, of course, not even now, um, last month either. Well, on the day he gave me the news that I will be having our third baby in the abroad. Hmm. <laughs> I was, my, my whole, my head was just clouded. Like I've been crying. You know why? Reason because I'm going to be traveling alone. <laughs> I mean, we just got back from, from the U.S. in in September, we traveled in July, towards the end of July 26th or 27th, we traveled to, to the U.S. for vacation. And that was when I discovered that I was pregnant, okay? And now, I didn't put my mind sincerely, to be sincere, I didn't put my mind that, you know, I'll be traveling to give birth to our third baby. I mean, I had my first child and my second child in the U.S., so considering the fact that we've already traveled, you know, just three months back for vacation and then we found out that we're pregnant and all of all those things. I'm all with the current economy in Nigeria. So I didn't really want to even bother him. So I was just surprised when he came up with it and, you know, but that the only thing is I'll be traveling alone. I'll be leaving my kids behind. God. <clears throat> you guys, I've already promised myself that I will try as much as possible not to cry, mm? not, not, not to cry on screen, okay, on camera, because I've been doing a lot of crying. Each time this thought comes to my head, I've never left my kids with anybody. I have never, I have never lived with anyone. I have been alone with my kids, so I'm so attached to my kids and leaving them behind now to go on a two months journey if not more yeah on a two months journey by the grace of god just leaving them for a whole two months the, the, the thought is driving me crazy but i don't want to go deep into that now, okay so this video is basically you know showing you guys um the things that i'll be doing as my final preparations before i leave i'm traveling by next week and I have a lot of things pending. I'm even looking at the things I want to actually um, do right now. Uh, for today, I want to quickly wash um, a few baby items that I got in the market. Yes, if you haven't seen, um, how, how do I even want to title that video? I don't know. But before this one, before this final preparation video, I'm sure I must have uploaded that one. Um, it's a video where I went to the market to buy baby things. I'm not sure what I want to title it. But then again, I'll put the info card here or here once the video is up so that you guys can see it. Please, please, please watch that video. You would appreciate it. If you want to know the cost of um, baby things in Nigeria market, definitely. Now, I love market vlogs. So I took you guys to the market to show you guys how to buy baby things if you're in Nigeria. So please watch that video. So most of the things I bought, especially baby clothes, 
I need to wash them because I'll be traveling with a few of the few born things. Okay, so I want to go wash those things. And then um, the few um, baby things that I already had uh, from my first baby and my second baby, I need to wash all those things as well because I'll be reusing them. Okay, so yeah, I don't want to make this talk too long. I just want to carry you guys along everything that I'll be doing in these final preparations. Tomorrow is my final antenata in Nigeria, my last antenata in Nigeria. I'll be going to pick up my feet to travel for and some other documents that I'll be needing. You know, I'll just take you guys along everything that I'll be doing and then I'll also cook in bulk for my family um, over the weekend before my travel day. Okay, so please keep watching this video and while you watch, do not forget to give it a big thumbs up, like it as it goes a long way and encouraging me okay please like the video and to my new viewers do not forget to subscribe okay so i've had this hunger for five years five whole years five five years Buy 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 authentic, <laughs> buy original, <laughs> buy good quality. Yeah? Five four years. I'm okay. I'm fine. Where is your sister? She's sleeping. She's sleeping. Yeah. Hmm? Ada, Ada. Mm -hmm. For her to sleep. I'll take her to the hospital tomorrow. Mom, look at the can you put on? Side to side. Oh, yeah, fix that tomorrow. Okay, how do you make this? Oh, my God. This is your child is feeding. Okay. Exposed. Okay. Exposed. Remove the clothes. Then if you have uh, water, mm -hmm. look warm water. No, mm -hmm. it's not cold. Look warm. Just dark. You see the temperature of the water. Okay. Big boy. Motherhood is not an easy journey. To me, it's one of the toughest phase of my life. If not the only toughest phase of my life. I mean, from the moment you give birth to a child, 
you literally become responsible for that child anyway my kids they got to see their doctor i mean their pediatrician and um some tests were carried out okay and some medications were prescribed as well from the result of the test long story short my kids are good okay <laughs> they are okay and uh yeah we went back home what a day right <laughs> what a day so my darlings the next day i went to the market the next day which was um thursday yeah i went to the market there's this um warehouse where they sell attachments reverons anything concerning hair so i went there to get um the weaves that i'll be using to make my hair okay i mean hair will go last me for two months where they travel for so yeah see if you want a full hair like this if i want a full like this that's what i'll buy up to five parts one is three five no wonder the are very expensive. Three five. Seven thousand. Who's there? How much is this? Hair? So three five, three five, seven thousand. And he said up to four packs for full hair. That's uh, 14,000. Please, three parts. Three parts. This one is that much? Three, two. Three, two. Do people have it in colors? This is black. Gold and black. Let me check. Where did he bring it out from? Okay, I think so it's uh -huh, this is the color. This one is 30. This one is 30, but can we can we do it like the down part will be this black and then the the tip like the way she styled it will be gold. Okay. Say three packs for full hair. Say three packs for full hair. So what do I do now? Because I need the gold to be at the tip to get to get this style. This style, I need the gold to be at the tip. So if we're using the black, so I'll get. I cannot share it, that's the problem. Okay. Oh, they have different styles. Yeah, this one is tiny. Like, if you want to make it look like this, I have to go for like four parts, but I, I prefer this one. This if I want to, like, I have to go for four parts. Yes, to give it that size you want now. Eh. Yes. They will, because they will, they will take it three, three styles. Oh, I see. I so see. This one, you can go for three. How much is this one? Uh, and uh, wow, all of them three something. See, this, how much is in the system for this? Um, five thousand. Five thousand. How many pieces is there? Three five. The attachment is how much? Two four. Two four each. And the other one is five thousand. Five thousand each for this one. So what's my total, please? You're too tiny. At the door, sir. 19,800. Oh, two more. So, guys, I was happy I succeeded in carrying out all the activities I planned for that Thursday. The next day, which happened to be Friday, was my last Antinenta in Nigeria. Okay, <laughs> see me and my mama put rice. Anyway, um, on this particular day, I was asked to come fasting. You know the fasting glucose test they do 
um, the one they ask you to come fasting, you don't get to eat from 8 p.m. Um, the previous day to the next day. And after they take the blood from you, I mean, after they take your blood sample, they ask you to eat any um, food rich in carbohydrate. Then after a few hours, you will have to um, come back again to, you know, give another blood sample. They're just trying to check, um, you know, your packed cell volume and some other important, um, you know, bobo to <laughs> Okay, so after all that test was done and I got my results, I got to see my doctor and you guys, I requested for enough prenatal drugs that would last me for the next two months. <laughs> I asked for enough, okay? So yeah, after I got my prenatal drugs, I also got my feet to fly, which is what I'm about to bring out now from my bag. I got my um, results from my test, all the documents that I, you know, needed for this um, travel to Obodo, you both to go and burn our prayers. You guys, I have come to the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching.